Hi, this is Erika Kasab with a quick tutorial on Nomad Sculpt, a 3D sculpting app for iPad users. Today we are revising the symmetry tool. We're gonna start mirroring any sculpting operation. The symmetry tool divides my object through the middle. Any modification I make on either side is mirrored to the other one. To quickly activate it, look for this icon on the side menu. If it's colored, it is active. By default, the symmetry is activated on the x-axis, but I can change this. On this top menu, I will tap on the symmetry menu to open more options. Look for the Reset Direction section and tap on Y. To show you clearly how it works, on the Advanced section, I will activate the option to show a 3D plane. These planes show me how the mirroring will work. If I change the direction to the C-axis, it will look like this. If you want to get rid of this plane, just go back to the menu to deactivate it. Another option to show this is activating Show Line, which will draw a line on top of the surface of your model. It is possible to customize the location of the symmetry plane. At the bottom of the symmetry menu, find the option to activate the gizmo edit. Up to November 2020, this tool is labeled as experimental. You will see a message from the developer advising to avoid it but they are not my mother and they cannot tell me what to do, so I will activate it. A gizmo will show up, letting me modify the orientation and the location of the symmetry plane, which will allow me to work on a weird axis. To bring back the plane to a humane location, use the reset direction buttons. Let's look at this portion of the menu, right now set to world. The object is sitting in the middle of the scene. Its center is the same as a world. Therefore, they're also sharing the symmetry plane. If I move the object to the side, this is gonna change. See how the symmetry plane stays in the middle of the world? I cannot sculpt my sphere expecting the changes to be mirrored. To do so, go back to the symmetry menu and change it from world to local. The symmetry will ignore everything that's on your scene and it will take the center of the object you have selected. Let's say you forgot to turn symmetry on while sculpting and your model is incomplete. There is an easy fix. Go again to the symmetry menu and we will tap on mirror. Whoops, I mirrored the wrong side. That's all good. I will activate flip direction and try again. Sometimes you'll need to mirror a complete object, like this eye. To duplicate it and mirror it, set symmetry to world and mirror it. This message will pop up. This operation is designed for symmetrical meshes. This mesh is symmetrical if we divide it here, but the division is not here. Don't worry about this message, just tap on just to continue. You have now two twin meshes, which are part of one object. Use the gizmo with symmetry activated to modify them as a mirror. Otherwise, deactivate symmetry to move them together as an object. If you want to separate them in different objects, Use the split tool to divide them. That's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, make sure that you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we are bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking in the link below.